One year after this rocket launch failure, Blue Origin is now a big step closer to returning tourists to the edge of space. Jeff Bezos' new Shepard rocket was grounded in Texas last September when a launch without passengers aborted mid-flight. News 6's James Sparvero has the findings from the FAA and Blue Origin's response on getting back off the ground. After successfully launching six crews of passengers to the edge of space, it was during this Blue Origin flight with science experiments when the onboard computer sensed trouble and safely jettisoned the capsule away from the failing booster. It appears we've experienced an anomaly with today's flight. This was unplanned and we don't have any details yet. A year later, the FAA says the malfunction started with an overheated engine. Its final report reads, during the mishap, the onboard launch vehicle systems detected the anomaly, triggered an abort and separation of the capsule from the propulsion module as intended, and shut down the engine. Everything operated as it needed to in the case of emergency. Three passengers have been from Central Florida, including Steve Young, who owns the restaurant Pineapples in Melbourne. There's no way of describing it. And Mark and Sharon Hagel, Winter Park real estate developers. Oh my God who became the first married couple on a commercial space flight. The FAA says it's ordered Blue Origin to make a total of 21 corrective actions, including redesigning engine parts. And they are officially astronauts. Welcome to space. Woo. And while Blue Origin has been grounded, competitor Virgin Galactic successfully started flying space tourists in June. In its response to the conclusion of the investigation, Blue Origin says it will resume flights soon, but it did not give a date. First, the FAA says it must implement the corrective actions, and Blue Origin has to receive a new launch license. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.